my friends, this is Ranger Rob, and welcome to the Ranger Rob Country Living Channel. Ah, a little bit smoky today, so I don't think we qualify for a sparkling day. But, uh, still, still warm, still good temperatures. It is fall, and, uh, it is still beautiful. Get some, what you see, Bill? What you looking for? Huh? Looking for them lizards. And, uh, of course, it's time for me to go check out some chores. Check out all my water systems. I think I got a few that need some water. Uh, NFTs, I think, may need some. And I'm pretty sure the greenhouse. And I think the strawberries are fine. And, uh, little signs of fall definitely showing up here and there. Uh, especially, like, the corn. You can kind of see the, this, the coloring change. And uh, gives you that little bit of a Halloween flavor, doesn't it? Well, things are definitely a little toasty in here, so I turned on a few more fans. Uh, the floating wraps, all looking really good. I did get a couple more uh, lettuces uh, uh, installed. And we got some tomatoes coming. So, uh, yeah, the greenhouse is doing well. We'll get it cooled down a little bit. I think it's 92 degrees in here. And uh, it's already starting to drop. The next thing I'll be doing is uh, adding water or nutrients to the two tanks for the uh, NFT systems. They're both kind of low. And uh, I'll be putting about 25 gallons into each one. And uh, I'll be good for a couple of days after that. Well, I got all the tanks filled. I do have to fill the tank on the towers, but I can do that later today because I already ran. So it's in good shape. Grabbed a couple strawberries and a couple tomatoes for a snack. Super yummy. And, uh, I gather my dogs. Come on, dogs. Cinder, come. And, uh, so one of the questions I have for you is, uh, are you starting to feel or are you prepared? to be prosecuted, not necessarily by law, but by people in changing times because of your beliefs, and your family value systems. Maybe you don't want the jab in the arm. Maybe you're a Christian. Maybe you believe in family. Maybe you believe in a controlled um, inclusiveness and diversity which is nothing wrong with it, but it also can go too far, just like religion. And uh, maybe being a prepper, believe it or not, they're getting after us, starting to shun us, even censor us, uh, for being someone who wants to be prepared and self-reliant. Why do they want us to be reliant so, so strongly? Uh, Maybe because they're looking at more government controls. Maybe same thing on food, where food will start being government regulated. And uh, they want us all on board. Maybe. <laughs> Can't guarantee that. But uh, uh, we have to be prepared for all that kind of stuff. So mindset-wise, like I was talking about in yesterday's video, is... Uh, uh, we may be making sacrifices or maybe even being prosecuted or maybe being shunned. Uh, maybe we need to be more like a hermit. Maybe we'll die for our cause, who knows? Um, but most of all, on top of all of it, make sure it's for your faith. But uh, yeah, kind of a scary thing. Kind of a, uh, something that I never thought I'd see in my lifetime, but uh, I'm just looking at my tomatoes here, but it seems to be coming our way and it's kind of hard to believe. And I know some of you haven't experienced it or are probably going, boy, Rob, you're paranoid. But if I haven't been seeing it, I wouldn't be talking about it. And if I haven't experienced some of the prejudice, uh, <laughs> being white, I can't believe I, nobody should have problems with their race. It's n not an issue, um, but, uh, boy, they're trying to turn the tables 
and it shouldn't be any tables at all and I agree with that but uh wow it's uh it's a shame so today guys uh we uh, got tons of tomatoes and so we need to uh, make some sauce so I need to run over to a place called Bymart and I'm gonna buy a big cooker uh, that can handle a large quantity of uh, tomatoes uh, Sherry asked me if I'd go get it for her for this weekend so that's what I'm gonna do uh, my fish are right on top today in the pond and of course they're hiding now um, they're probably hungry but I'll feed them later today but uh, the pond's doing real good water's moving real slow because we get this angel hair um, in the, in the there's the fish. Yeah. Well, they're getting big this year. But we get angel hair in the system. And when fall comes, it actually starts dying out. And all everything flushes out. So uh, last year, one of my little pumps just couldn't pump any more water because there's so much angel hair in it. But, uh, uh, but after the angel hair kind of dies off because of the colder temperatures, water starts breaking loose. And I uh, go through the cycle every year. But uh, yeah, looks like I got some pretty content little fish. Of course, they're probably saying, feed us, feed us. So maybe I'll feed them now because I'm here. But uh, anyway, guys, I just thought I'd uh, kind of bring up to the fact that times are changing. And do you, do you, do you uh, surrender to people or do you surrender to your faith? and your uh, determination to be self-reliant. The choice is yours. Well guys, I am back from the store. I got Sherry a, a new uh, 22 quart roaster oven that she wanted to do tomatoes. And I did snag a whole bunch of lids for all different sizes of uh, uh, jars. So that was kind of cool. And uh, just to give you an idea, Got all those tomatoes, plus Sherry set some, to let them ripen a little more. Right here, here, and we've got more on the garden and also the greenhouse. So yeah, we're gonna be processing tomatoes this weekend. So to conclude, just watched a video from Ringo Starr and uh, he's somebody I uh, surprises me sometimes. And uh, he was talking about reshaping or changing the software of your life, your belief, your paradigms. And uh, I truly agree with that. I was a regimented person that got up early. Uh, I started on fishing boats in the old days. We had to get up at 3.30 every morning at, as teenagers working on boats. I worked in the aerospace industry where we got started work really early and uh, did that for years. And uh, Eventually, accidentally, I, uh, I uh, started a, my own business back in the 90s, and I've had several since, that showed me another side of life where you, you control more of it. And that was actually I had uh, retail stores uh, that I uh, ran, or actually kite stores. And I eventually left the aerospace because I was actually laid off anyway, so it was like, and I knew it was coming. I had a place to go. I had my own stores and realized I could control my own destiny. I can control my um, um, my own way of life. And there's different ways of doing it. I did it that way at the time. But um, anyway, uh, the paradigm is that I know there's a lot of people that have done the same thing for years. And, and make it clear, there's absolutely nothing wrong with that. It's just the way you've been brought up and it's the way your life has gone for years and you're kind of programmed and can't realize um, that there's alternatives. Also, the, including how you run your life and believe in your uh, in faith and, and believe in uh, what's going on in the world. Um, and I'm just here as a, another witness, as Ringo Star, also not Ringo, Ringo, <laughs> Ringo Star was talking about is uh, there's a lot of us that have changed the programming in our heads. The software has been changed 
and we have know that there's other alternatives out there of uh, how you live your life, how you make money, uh, how you go through life, and also do it with wake, walking with faith. And uh, so I just want to oh, agree with them and, and pass on the fact that uh, I was a totally different kind of person years ago. I was a programmed uh, corporate, nine to five, followed a man, and, and it all changed. And, once I, and then I had to go back out of necessity, and I was miserable because I knew that there was another way of life. And I was surrounded by people in a corporate scene for about five years before I retired. Um, that couldn't think of anything outside of the box. And it, they were, I was a strange person to them because my, my thoughts were outside of the box. And you, once you let it go, and once you realize what's out there for freedom and, and, and controlling your own destiny, uh, you can't close that box. Uh, I tried. <laughs> can't do it. So anyway, I'm just going to leave it at that. Maybe I'll go more into that in the future. But uh, I'm going to wrap this video up. I want to thank you for watching. Please take the time to like and subscribe and share our videos all over. Help us grow. We'd really appreciate that. So guys, have a great day. Bye now. Our videos are made possible by Ranger Rob Poopy Bags. Available at Amazon right now. Thank you very much for watching our video. Please take the time to like, subscribe, and share our videos all over the whole wide world. Thanks.